But for dinner mukbang, we're making this. Four cracked eggs in a bowl, add half a cup of water. Hurry! Now you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt beads like this. Add it to your eggs, beat. Are you angry about something? Angry about anything? Take it out on your eggs. A can of spam! That's all I have left! Spam the comments while I spam this board, ready? Who do you think is the best cook in this house, Dan? Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> it is now sauce time. Two tablespoons gochujang red pepper paste. I'm gonna leave links in the description. I don't know if I recorded this, but I put in a tablespoon of soy sauce. Now I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of mirin. Rice wine a bit. So, oh sh that's more than two tablespoons, my bad. One tablespoon sugar. Now you're gonna need something very peculiar. Two teaspoons of chopped garlic. I feel like I'm making a mess. One, two. It says you're gonna need half a teaspoon of this grated ginger, but I realize that they want minced and that's so much work. So I'm just gonna get half a teaspoon of ginger juice and hope that it does the job. That is called Lazy Cooking 101. <laughs> Mix it all together and you will get this delicious looking goodness. This looks beautiful. This looks like a facial. Get your spam and throw that bait in. I'm embarrassed to say that I completely forgot to add kimchi to my kimchi fried rice, so I'm adding two of these because I'm too lazy to chop my fresh kimchi, and it's kimchi pokum that comes in bags, so I've added two bags, and I think that's good enough. We've got the spam frying. I'm gonna add this with the rice. So let's bring this bit on over and throw her in. Throw this in, yes! And then you mix. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It doesn't look good, does it smell good? Tell them what it smells like. It smells like kimchi with spam. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, so you add it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, and today we are back with another dun dun mukbang. Guys, I'm so freaking excited because in front of us today we've got a giant pile of kimchi fried rice. You can't even see that shit because it is covered in this beautiful Korean steamed egg, covered in mozzarella cheese with some mozzarella cheese on top. A bit. And then we've got a pile of crawfish. My fiance yes. asked us what we're more excited for. We said the rice, like the peasants that we are. <laughs> is the crawfish that good? I don't know. I haven't had it, but uh, it smells good. The rice. The looks rice. So okay, good. so let's just get started. I'm gonna go in for a I'm gonna try the crawfish. Yeah, I'm gonna try the oh crawfish. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Wow. Good job, babe. Thank you so much. Wow. So proud of you. So I made the rice, so they might go with the crawfish. <laughs> mm. Huh? So juicy. So good. So juicy. So good. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, you're gonna love the crawfish, babe. What? So good. Better than like a lot of these um, LA mm. seafood restaurants. Boiling crab? <laughs> Boiling crab's not bad, but there's mm. a few. I'm not gonna name the names. Oh. <laughs> How's the. Oh Just my god, up. so juicy. Oh? <laughs> okay, I need to add some kimchi to my kimchi fried rice because it's so hot. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Holy cow. Mm. Mm. 10 out of 10. Mm. This cheesy egg mixture. Holy cow. It oh is so God. delicious. Mm. Good job. Mm. Do you suck the head on this one or no? Oh yes. Oh my God. Damn. It tastes like a beautiful hot pot. Holy cow. I really think yeah. food, like good yeah. food, can actually make someone change their mood. Mm-hmm. So fast. Yeah, so quick. Oh my god. What? The crawfish is so good. It tastes like a hot pie. <laughs> oh my god. Holy cow, it's so juicy. The meat is so tender. <laughs> Are you okay, Dan? That's so hot. You're like blowing a tornado over there. <laughs> yeah, it's really hot though. I almost burnt my tongue the first bite. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's I've never had crawfish this good. I could eat 10 pounds of that easy. Damn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you tell them what? that you made this actually? I did. I did, but my though. mama did so not. Good. I did this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Everything is so on point. Mm. Wow. This is better than like mm -hmm. eating out at a restaurant. Right? Seriously. Well, 
we can't really eat out at a restaurant too either. So. Oh my god, that got、yeah. so sad. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, <laughs> but like normally my kimchi fried rice is not this good. It was never this good. Yes, sir. More kimchi. More kimchi. More kimchi. Yes, sir. More <laughs> kimchi, bra. Let's get into today's scary stories. Now, today's scary stories. Some of them have been requested by you, and I've got a short collection of creepy crawlers that will make your skin crawl. The first one takes place in good old Japan, and you know a Japanese scary story is going to be pretty scary.、Oh, and、yeah. so, in Japan, it's late at night one day when this young girl, let's call her Jessica, is coming home from work, and she takes the subway like she does every. Single night,、mm -hmm. and so she gets onto the subway, and she got excited. And Jessica says, "Holy cow! I got a good train. This one's empty." And so she decides to sit down in the middle of the subway, and peculiarly, she was facing an older woman with、yeah. two old men sitting next to her. Now, there's nothing weird about that, but it was the fact that this old lady just kept staring at her.、Uh -huh. And so she's sitting on the subway. She would look away, and this lady would just at her. Mm -hmm. Staring at her.、So、the、crazy. two men weren't staring at her, but this old lady kept staring at her.、Mm -hmm. And so she's like, "Gosh, what's wrong with this lady?" Holy cow! This cheese. I'm gonna wrap it in some kimchi fried、mm. rice. Hmm. Wow. Who's the man? You say there's two men. Mm-hmm. Sitting where? On each side of the old lady. Wow.、Oh. And they're not staring at her, but this old lady just keeps staring at her. So she looks to the right. No one. She's、mm -hmm. like, "Gosh, what is she staring at me?" Looks to the left. No one. She must be staring at me, right?、Mm -hmm. And she's like, "But you know what? Sometimes old people do that, right? Sometimes、mm -hmm. they stare. Sometimes they don't like your hair. Sometimes they're just zoning out." So she starts going on her phone and looks up, and the lady is still staring dead at her. And so she starts feeling really uncomfortable. And the door opens to the subway, and a man in a trench coat walks in, and he sits right next to the young girl. So she's like, "Huh, I wonder if this old lady is gonna now stare at him." And so she starts looking around, and she starts feeling uneasy at this point. You know, this lady is just creeping her out. Why is she staring so much? Yeah. And she tries to look at the two older men sitting next to her on each side of her, and she's like, "They're not looking at me, so I don't know what's going on." And so she's looking around, and they finally approach the next. Train stop. When all of a sudden, the guy in the trench coat gets up from next to her, and as the doors are about to close, he grabs her hand and pulls her out of the train onto the train station.、Mm -hmm. And so she stumbles onto the train station, and she's looking at this man in a trench coat, and she starts screaming for help.、Mm -hmm. She's like, "Help! Help! Like this guy kidnapping me! Like this is my train stop, you know?"、Mm -hmm. And he says, "Oh, I'm sorry. Please calm down. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to kidnap you, but um." I just saved your life, and she's like, "What are you talking about? You literally just tried to kidnap me. Now I have to wait for the next train. What do you mean you saved my life?" Yeah. And he said, "You didn't notice. What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what did I notice? The woman who's staring at you. What about、mm -hmm. her? She was dead, and the two men next to her were holding her up and supporting her body." <laughs> Yo. Yo. That's some like good plot twist right、mm -hmm. there. He said, "That's some shit right there." Got him. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Was that creepy? Wait, that's it though. That's the story. Yeah, bro. Dang. Yeah. Have you ever seen a dead body before? <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, how about you? Our grandpa. Oh. Oh my god, that just got really sad, guys. Oh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like dead bodies are really scary until you know them, and then it's just sad. Then there's like police. They have like whole file of um. Crime scenes, not not only crime scene, but like accidents, car、mm -hmm. accident scenes.、Mm -hmm. it, people say that's the worst thing you can ever watch. Because there's dead people. Not just dead people, but car accident.、Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Because everything is just kind of all over the place. If you die from a car accident or even a really bad car accident, there's a lot of blood, lots of limbs everywhere. Glass mixed with limbs. Yeah, just、Yo. things are just all sorts of. A lot、up. of the times, cars burst into flames.、Mm -hmm. And imagine seeing that like all the time all as the time. a police. Yeah, you'll be traumatized. Yeah. Or don't you? Didn't you say, babe? Like some people get desensitized. Yes. Uh huh. They don't get attached anymore to the scene. Oh really? Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. So they're just used to it. Yeah, but I'm sure when they like sit down and like there's a really bad one,、uh -huh. they have like a flood of emotions again. But from what I read, like if you work in like trauma as a medical professional, or if you work as police officer where there's a lot of bad accidents, or you work as like a medical examiner for lots of murders and shit, you just become so desensitized. 
Like, you can't emotionally get invested in every case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you just have to treat it. Like, I heard firefighters, too. Really? Because a lot wow. of the times, people make very intense noises when they're Burn fire. burning. Oh. Can you imagine? And then they said the smell. You can smell when someone's been burnt in a room. Like, like barbecue. Yeah, they said before you walk <laughs> in, the smell of human flesh being burnt, you'll oh. notice it. Whereas like we have no idea what that smells like. Yeah. We don't know. But that I'm sure it's intense creepy. because <laughs> when you think about it, even if you just take a piece of hair and put it in a candle, that smell is so yes. unique. Yeah. That smell is like so, yeah, you know it. So I'm sure they know it and it's like so bad. They Holy said you know right away. How? There's a story then then. Hold on, let me think for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let me think for a sec. <laughs> That's crazy though. They were holding the grandma. Up. Yeah. So if she stayed, she would have probably ended up like her. Mm -hmm. Is he still thinking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Wow. He's thinking while well. eating. Wow. So, um, yes. somebody, there's someone who runs a like buns with me inside. So, there was a period of time that they are running out of meat. And finally, they got some um, fresh meat and then they start selling his bao. And then all of a sudden, people fall in love with it because they say that his bao tastes so much better with this, you know, imported pork meat or whatever. It's like tastes so good. Everybody's like lying out to buy it. And then somebody, um, finally, the, today, John and uh, Susie, which they're married, they went to bought it, right? Uh -huh. They bought some bun and went home. And John tasted it. And John said, <laughs> why are you laughing? I think I already know. <laughs> what? It's a human flesh. Yeah. But John was like, yeah, this is not pork. Because when he killed his ex-wife, this is exactly what it tastes like. Got him. <laughs> Got him. I think I told it wrong, but I think so. you get the idea. But you know what's worse? There's actually a Japanese man who was studying abroad for college mm -hmm. and ate his girlfriend and only spent a couple years in jail and he's free now. He's free now? Mm -hmm. Why is that? I don't know, something about the laws. I can get into the full story. I'm just scared because you guys will be so grossed out in a mukbang. Yeah. But um, yeah. And he wrote about how he can't wait till the next day he ever gets to eat flesh again. Oof. He says he was born addicted and just loves the taste. Is that not scary? When did he start eating? We don't know. I'm sure he's not trying to go to prison again. There's a grandma yeah. who's like super into like budgeting. Mm -hmm. She lives in this apartment. <gasps> After a while, she noticed that there's um, she checked her power bill, right? She feels like her power is always a little overpriced. Mm -hmm. so she's like, that's so weird. There's no way I spend this m amount of money mm -hmm. on power every month mm -hmm. with the way I control my electricity, right? Yeah. So she decided to investigate. So she tracked all her power line, tracked every appliance, see where the power is, which appliances consume how much power. Found the little cord power cord just connects and okay. into the ground and she was like this is so weird there's mm -hmm. an extra power cord here why does it connect to the ground what is it and so she started digging right she digged it goes deeper she kept digging 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 mm -hmm. and three meters down she found a fridge she opened up there's a dead person in there this was from the previous person tenant who killed someone put them in the fridge plug in the power and bury them and that's the fridge that's keep consuming her power day after day Honestly, when you think about it, genius. Mm. It is kind of genius, right? Genius. <laughs> Why? Why are you so quiet? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? He said, got him. Too creepy. Too you don't creepy, like that one? Yeah, too creepy. Let me tell you about a wife by the name of Lauren. Now, Lauren and Jack were madly in love. They were obsessed with each other, some might even say, which is kind of crazy because they've actually been married for over a decade. And that's a pretty long time. You see a lot of couples that have been married over a decade and you don't really think, wow, they're so in love, right? You mm -hmm. see, like, ah, they have kids. They're staying together for the kids. <laughs> Sorry, a lot of it's true, okay? Yeah, we have dogs. <laughs> We're staying together for the dogs. <laughs> We're staying together for Dan Dan. <laughs> okay? We have an alpha. <laughs> we got an alpha we gotta take care of, you know? <laughs> and so... See? Who's gonna feed him Chinese crawfish if we mm -hmm. break up? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Who's gonna tell him he's alpha? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Without us? Wow, romantic. He's gonna make this fried rice? Exactly. You know we're not dying. 
Um, Lauren and Jack, they've been married for over a decade, and they were mm. madly in love, and it was very creepy for people to see. This is the scary story, guys, that love exists. I'm just kidding, okay? This is told from Jack's perspective. He loved everything about Lauren. Lauren, to him, was perfect. His other half, his partner in crime, everything about Lauren was just magical like she was a bit of an enigma like he couldn't fully understand her even after 10 years of being married 12 years you know she just always was spontaneous and just different and just he can't even explain it he doesn't even have the words and so obviously he thought that everything would go back to normal even after the accident i mean it's it's an accident yeah accidents happen accidents are really bad but they've been married for so long and he loves her to the moon and back there's nothing he wouldn't do for lauren but things just weren't the same since the accident so it all started when they got into a car accident and they both had to go to the hospital mm -hmm. for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. And he got out first, he was healthier. She took a while to get out. But mm -hmm. finally one day, the doctor said, she's ready, she's all yours. So he picked her up from the hospital, drove home, and on the way home, he was saying all these wonderful things like, you know, don't worry, Lauren, once we get home, we're gonna have our entire routines back. You know, I set up this plan. Obviously, you can't jump right into work and all of that right away, right? Mm -hmm. But we're gonna walk the dogs, we're gonna do this, and everything slowly, before you knew it, is gonna go back to normal. Mm -hmm. And Lauren's just sitting there, nodding. Mm -hmm. She seems... Down. She doesn't seem excited. And he's a little frustrated. Why isn't she excited, you know? Mm -hmm. She's just... And so they go into the house, they sleep, they eat, and they wake up and they hit bubbles. They hit bubbles. They eat, they sleep, they, they hit, hit bubbles. bubbles through the penguin story. Okay, okay, sorry. The routine just isn't going as planned. You know, there are some days where he'll wake up in the middle of the night and Lauren thinks she's alone and she'll go to the kitchen and just cry. Mm -hmm. and just cry and just cry and just cry. He's like, why is she crying? And she starts slamming cabinets. Mm -hmm. He's like, Jesus, what's wrong with her? He brings her back to bed and she lays down and she's so sad. And so then the next day he wakes up and he realizes, wait a second, something's weird. And he looks at Lauren and he goes, Lauren, why are your eyes blue? And she goes, what do you mean, Jack? And he goes, your eyes have always been brown. Why are they blue? And she goes, what are you talking about? They've always been blue. And he goes, no. I know your eye color, are you crazy? They've always been brown. And she goes, I don't know what you're talking about, Jack. They've always been blue. Uh -huh. And she walked away. But for some reason, he just couldn't forget that. He just kept thinking about, it. there's so many small things that are different with Lauren now. Why is she acting so different? Small things, you know? The way she does dishes, slightly different now. He can't really put his finger on why this could have changed. He just keeps thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And so one night, he goes and lays in bed, and he hears slamming around in the kitchen. And this time he was like, but this time I locked the cabinets with padlocks so she couldn't open them and slam them every night. Mm -hmm. And so he rushes down, and he goes, Lauren, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And she goes, I'm just looking, I'm just looking for something. And he goes, what are you talking about, Lauren? What could you possibly be looking for? And she says, you know my name's not Lauren. And he says, Lauren? Remember what happened last time that you had this conversation? You don't want to do that again, do you, Lauren? And so she goes, no, Jack, I'm sorry, you're right. And he says, okay, now come to bed, give me your hand. And she pulls down her bandage on her eye and walks over and gives him her hand. And he brings her back to bed and mm -hmm. he thinks, you know, she's not Lauren yet, but I'm going to make her eyes brown. I'm going to fix the way she does dishes. And soon again, I'll have Lauren back. He kidnapped someone and forced them to pretend they're Lauren. Mm -hmm. So Lauren was dead. Yeah. So oh, who did he kidnap? Man. Just a so, rando? Yeah. So it's just, that's like next level. Yeah. Man. Isn't that crazy? He's like, why not just get a new girlfriend? I feel like that's easier. <laughs> Less work. No? Yeah, it would be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And legal. Yeah, and legal. <laughs> so he loves Lauren, right? He loves Lauren. Hmm. That's a love story. Wow. That's actually romantic. Should we tell that at our wedding? And be like, I want my romance like this. That was creepy, bro. Got him. Mm -hmm. You think there's people like them? Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously not a lot. There's this one movie I refuse to watch. What is it? Everyone's been requesting it. 
It's a Spanish film, a thriller of a crazy doctor whose wife died and he kidnaps a young, there's so many plot twists, but like the gist of it, but you don't know this in the beginning. He kidnaps a young teenage boy. Boy? Gives them lots of surgical operations oh. to make him his wife. What? Yeah, and it's very complicated. And so the doctor locks up this teenage boy in his basement. And you find out throughout the movie, oh shit, that's not his wife. He kidnapped someone. Oh shit. He forced a sex change. And then later, you, uh, at the end, I heard this young boy walks out and he's so confused. Oh, like he doesn't even know who he is yeah, anymore. He doesn't oh even God, know who he is. Was it a good one or is it just too much? I think, I mean, everyone says it's so good, but I just feel like the plot Heavy. of that is too much. I feel mm. like I would be like so emotionally distraught afterwards. Like some movies, I'm like, okay, it's like just amount, like the perfect amount of suspense and thrill and like, oh, mind fucking. Like afterwards, you're like, oh my God, that's insane, right? Mm. But this one, I feel like I'd just be like, Oh, it's so oh. sad. I don't want. I feel like that's too sad. Yeah. Do you guys watch movies like that? I feel like there's some TV shows like that. Like I hated Prison Break and Walking Dead because just a hundred percent of the entire show is just so negative. I think that's to most people is the perfect amount of thriller. Because imagine, I like you know those movies like Human Centipedes or whatever. Ah! Those are just too much. Like they're just gross to the next level. Did you watch it? I, I watched like literally one fourth of it. Eh! It is disgusting. I, it's so I was gross. like, I'm done. I can't do this yeah, anymore. It's so gross. Holy. Imagine watching that at a movie theater. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. Imagine watching that while eating. Oh, please. Should oh. we do a challenge? I'm just oh, kidding. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll just starve. <laughs> Loser becomes a centipede. <laughs> like, we can That's barely dark. even look at each other. <laughs> 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 well, you're proud of that one, huh? He said, <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. him. <laughs> wow, all right. I'm going to take my last bite of Spam and fresh kimchi. Wow. We kind of killed it. Yeah, dude. Amazing. Mm. I still got to watch Prison Break. So dark. No, Prison Break is not that dark. No, yeah, but I realized I don't like prison-based shows. Like, I didn't... I watched Orange is the New Black, but I was so stressed out. I guess I just... I don't know. I feel like I could never live in prison, probably. Why? Yeah. Feels real. Too real, It right? feels too real. Oh, yeah. Too close. Yeah. Like, you commit one crime, you could be there. And, like, I feel like they just have too much time to play mind games. And mm. it's very scary. In the prison? Yeah. You don't think so? Cause like, I feel like, okay, I'm. this is not saying that prisoners are bad or they like to f with people mentally, right? But I'm saying, I think it's human nature that when you're stuck in a cell, you're probably really bored. And you're probably looking for some escape, whether that be a mean, bad way of escaping from this utter boredom. Mm -hmm. Is that what the movie is, uh, show is about? No, but that's how I feel about oh. prison. You know, they just have too much time. I feel like there's too many moving parts of too many people with their different vendettas and their agendas and they're like so scary and then the guards are freaking scary. Yeah. Prison Break didn't feel as bad as Orange is the New Black, probably because it was a female prison. But like, mm -hmm. Prison Break was still pretty intense. Yeah. Well, I'm shook. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts? And did you guys get scared by any of these stories? And I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye.